Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video we've listed the top 6 of the best Wi-Fi routers in 2021 to help you find the right one for your needs and budget. So let's get started. Our list begins with ASUS RTAX86U. This is a follow-on design to the popular ASUS RTAC86U gaming router. It is powered by a 1.8GHz quad-core processor and using Broadcom's BCM4908 and BCM43684 chipsets along with 1GB of RAM and 256MB of flash storage. It can hold its firmware and settings. Now up front, it has 10 white LEDs that show when it's turned on, connected to the internet and is transmitting on a 2.4 to 5 GHz band. And with the built-in code from Trend Macro, it can stop intrusions and block malware from attacking your network. At 75 feet, this RTAX86U regained its strength, pushing out to 50.1 Mbps compared to the 280.1 Mbps that the XR1000 achieved. And it also has a strong Wi-Fi signal through walls and ceilings with scores of 698.5 Mbps available through a wall 25 feet from the router and 615.7 Mbps to a floor above. In all, this ASUS RTAX86U is a top performer that gets close to the magical 1 gigabits per second mark. And unlike competitors, its software includes lifetime updates to make sure the user is always a step ahead of the hackers. Next is the Netgear Nighthawk RAXE500. Now this has the same unique design as the RX80 and RX120 Wi-Fi 6 router. Its metallic black enclosure has two wings that unfold to give it a look that conjures up images of a B2 stealth bomber. And this each wing holds comes with four internal antennas. It's the first router that supports Wi-Fi 6E technology and allowing it to operate on the new liberated 6 GHz band that offers wider channels, faster speeds and less congestion for work and clients. And powered by 1.8 GHz AX optimized CPU, it is designed to handle 8K video streaming and heavy traffic loads. Its 5 GHz performance was also impressive, as its speed of 924 megabits per second is faster than the Netgear RX 120, TP-Link, and Linksys routers. And at a distance of 30 feet, it can manage 301 Mbps beating the Linksys MR9600, AX6000 and the TP-Link Archer AX11000. In all, this Netgear Nighthawk RAX E500 is the fastest router on the planet that sets a new standard for high performance Wi-Fi. And at $599.99, it is expensive, but it can be an ideal router if you want to be the first on your block to tap into the performance potential of Wi-Fi 6E. Next is the Netgear RB RBK852. Now the Netgear has equipped the RB6 range with an upgraded quad-core 2.2 GHz processor, 5.12 MB NAND flash, and 1 GB RAM. It has a 2.5 Gbps per second Ethernet WAN port, which is built for the fastest fiber broadband connections and there are additional 4 gigabit ethernet ports for wired devices. Thanks to the Wi-Fi 6, the internal wireless specs are far higher than on the original system as it has 4 5 GHz streams running at 2400 megabits per second and 4 2.5 GHz streams running at 1200 megabytes per second and with a mesh system benefits of a Wi-Fi 6 can grow with the number of satellites you add. 
Like many modern routers, the RB6 system can be set up and managed entirely using the company's Android and iOS apps. While the router can be managed by IP address, and the setup of the Netgear RB is simple, as all you need to do is plug in your router and satellite, choose a network name and password and sit back and relax. From a pure speed point of view, this Netgear RB RBK852 is a fantastic and fast wireless system and as a mesh system, it can increase capacity by spreading wireless access points to provide bandwidth where it's needed in your home. Next is Netgear Nighthawk XR1000. This Netgear XR1000 is an appealing one in the higher end gaming router market. It features an entirely new operating system that lets you customize your gaming experience. And with the Nighthawk XR1000, Netgear presents the first Wi Fi 6 gaming model. By design, it has the same shape and size as RX50. And with the red accents, it strikes a good balance for showing its gaming intentions. At the heart of the XR1000, it has a 1.5 GHz triple core processor with a 512 MB of RAM and 256 MB of flash storage. And the specs are certainly solid and hardly class leading among high end gaming routers. Rear houses the essential connections, including a single USB port and a WAN port with four LAN ports that are all Gigabit Ethernet. Along with that, it also has an on off toggle switch and a recessed reset button. As a Wi Fi 6 AX5400 router, it provides a two stream 2.4 GHz network that can run up to 600 megabits per second and a four stream 5 GHz network that can run on the 160 megahertz band for a total throughput of up to 4800 megabits per second. And with the Duma OS built around, it offers the best performance on a per device and a per application basis. Next is Euro Pro 6. This Euro Pro 6 is an excellent consumer level mesh router designed for an Alexa smart home. Like its predecessors, this Euro Pro 6 also comes in a rounded white plastic rectangular design. And its size is twice the size of the last generation ones, but it is still tiny and can be easily hidden than the Netgear RB, RBK752 or 852 models. Based on Qualcomm's IPQ8174 Wi-Fi chip, it has a 1.4 GHz quad-core processor, 1 GB of RAM and 4 GB of flash storage for its settings and firmware. And it also includes an MU, MIMO and beam farming technology to push the maximum amounts of data to the connected devices. Its tri-band design gives an additional 5 GHz band for dedicated system transmission. And with this, you can free up the first 5 GHz band for your average traffic and can also increase your network performance. If you live in a large home and want fast coverage from room to room, then a robust mesh system with multiple extenders is what you need. Then this Euro Pro 6 can get you there with the quickest, easiest and least frustrating set of procedures. Last on our list is the Netgear Nighthawk AX8. Now this delivers some of the fastest throughputs even in the older Wi-Fi 5 devices. On top. It has a button to toggle the Wi-Fi on and off with the WPS button for quick device connection to your router. And around the back, it houses 5 gigabit Ethernet ports rather than the regular 4. As well as its extra wired port is always handy and provides a bit more flexibility. 
Its 2 gigabit Ethernet ports can be aggregated to give a 2 gigabits per second height. And you can also aggregate the WAN Ethernet port with the first gigabit port to have a super fast broadband. With the latest Wi-Fi 6, it is built to increase the amount of data that can be transmitted at once. And it can also improve the way clients talk by giving each one of more resources and reducing pressure on the network. It's a solid router that'll help you get the best from the current generation wireless devices. And it can also be an ideal option if you're getting an 8.2.11 AX router at this price point. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos.